throughout the year I've collected these busts and a few of them are planters and I just didn't like the way they were looking so I decided to try a few things. So I got this bust of David at Ross for about $16 a year ago and I got this from my husband and I wanted to try a stone-like finish so I decided to spray paint the whole thing this beautiful taupe color that I found at the store. So I sprayed it with a few coats of this spray paint and then I let it dry. And then this bust planter of Diana or Artemis, whatever you want to call her. I didn't like the color this came in, so I decided to buy this Rust-Oleum Multicolor Textured Paint. And the color is called Desert Bisque, and I think it's such a beautiful neutral color. And this actually took me quite a bit of coats to actually cover her up. Also, if you hear someone talking, a man talking in the background, it is our African Grey. He will not be quiet, so I apologize. <laughs> So the next day after David was dry, I went in with some white acrylic paint and I just lightly took the brush and kind of took the excess paint off on the plate as you'll see soon. And then once that's done, you just kind of take your brush and you brush it over and make sure you don't get the paint inside the grooves because you want that dark contrast inside the grooves of this statue to make it look like it has some texture and definition and depth. It's a really cool technique that I saw someone do on YouTube and I think you'll see how it turned out later. But once I started this, I was really worried it wasn't gonna turn out the way I wanted it to, but you just have to keep layering it with different colors and then it really turned out great. So this is with just the white over top of it and then I decided to go with some Amish gray. This is like a beautiful gray taupe color and then I also used this like ivory cream color and I just kind of worked with it. There's no technique really, you just go over it and I loved how it turned out. So for this planter, I really wasn't a fan of the gold crown, so I decided to do the baking soda technique. I just took the gray and mixed it with baking soda and just painted over um, everything. And then I actually didn't like the way it looked all gray, so I went over with white. And I love the texture that this kind of feels like porcelain when you paint over it. Picasso saying hello in the background, so. <laughs> but this is what it turned out. If you know me, you know I love colors, so I couldn't just leave it the way it was. I needed to paint those flowers, and I decided to put some gold in the middle of each flower, and then I went with like a very light yellow and a pink, and I did not show the pink color. It was a pearl Martha Stewart, very light pink color, and I mixed each of the colors with white to make it more of like a pastel color. This is the yellow that I chose, it's called Yellow Custard, and I made sure it was a very, very light. I found a chalk paint called Celery, and it's such a beautiful green, so I decided to add that to the leaves, and then I did not like the pink, so I just lightened up a brown color, and it turned into this beautiful peach, and I was happy with the way it was going. So this is a reminder of David before all the work that I did, and this is what he looks like now. Uh, my husband really loved how it turned out. He said it really looks like it's a statue and I'm so happy that he's happy because it's going to be going in his office and I just think it really gives it more detail and depth and it was just plain white. So let me know what you guys think of 
this one. This might be my favorite one personally that I did, but he just really looks like he's made of stone. So this is a reminder of Diana before the spray paint and this is what she looks like now. I put some lavender inside and I just love this color. I'm definitely using this spray paint again because it matches with a lot of the warm tones we have in our home and I just love the way this turned out. And here's a reminder of the flower crown planter and then this is after everything I did with it I actually got some faux ivy to put inside to make it really cute and this is actually going in our bathroom which I'm really excited to show you guys once that's done so what do you guys think what was your favorite makeover and what would you have done differently let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet some of you watch my videos but you're not subscribed and you might not know so please click that button down below like this video and i really hope to see you next time